Hello, happy Tuesday to everybody and welcome to this uh, daily video, daily December, whatever I've called it, I can't remember. Um, and today I'm talking about Wolves podcasts. Yesterday I talked about football podcasts in general and suggested a few that perhaps you should listen to. But today I'm just thinking about the few Wolves podcasts that there are and talking about my feelings about them. And if you haven't heard them, uh, I'll put links in the description for where you can find them and hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as I do. So the first one is the podcast that's only recently started being run by the Wolves, uh, hosted by Chris Iwalumo and Mikey Burrows, and it's called The Old Gold Club. They interview former Wolves players and staff. They've had Terry Connor on there, they've had Kyle Akimi, uh, Carl Henry, Kenny Hibbert and David Kelly. And it's quite an interesting insight into the sort of stories uh, that were going on at the club at those times. And I think because quite a lot of time has passed now since all those players played for the Wolves, it's quite interesting to hear about their honesty uh, particularly Carl Henry when he was recently on there talking about the double relegation seasons and then how he feels that he was underrated as a player or that squad was underrated uh, in comparison to the 2003 promotion. Um, it's very, very interesting to hear them and hopefully it'll grow and it'll, they'll get more uh, the high profile people on there as well and perhaps, I don't know, I think I would love to see Mick McCarthy on there and uh, a couple of, you know, Bigger characters on there as well would be really good to see. Uh, the second podcast uh, is the Wolves Fancast. It's the longest running uh, Wolves based podcast. They've been going, as far as I know, since I was back in university, about eight years, nine years, something like that, maybe ten. Um, they, they've got a consistent bunch of people who go on there um, and they're fairly good pundits in terms of assessing the game. They tend to have seen the same game that I have seen. Um, they do sometimes get distracted. If I was doing it like a teacher, uh, they get distracted. And they often talk about whether you keep ketchup or mayonnaise in the fridge or in the cupboard for a little bit too long. Uh, and wrestling as well is a common feature, which is not of any interest to me. But they've got quite a good uh, rapport with the people on Twitter as well. And they do tend to get uh, a lot of responses to their Twitter corner uh, bit at the end. Uh, I've only recently found this next podcast, the uh, 77 Club. They're quite a laid back, more... Um, I don't know, sort of chilled out vibe uh, on SoundCloud, I've found them, but I think they're on other podcast uh, formats as well. Uh, they don't take things too seriously, but they're quite informative with, with their little features. They they give out ticket information as well. But yeah, I, I enjoy listening to them and their antics. I think some of them enjoy the, the uh, pre-match festivities a little too much and then they're not quite accurate with their um, appraisal of the game. But that's fine. I enjoy I enjoy listening to them and, and uh, they're very entertaining. So one of the other podcasts that you should go out and listen to is the South Bank Resistance. Uh, Michael Petalengro, you may have read his blogs last year. You might have bought his book in the summer. Um, it's quite an eclectic podcast, as he's described it to me in the past. Uh, it's a bit sort of raw compar in comparison to some of these other ones that are a bit more clean cut and uh, a bit more polished. But that's... It's good to hear. It's, it's like listening to a conversation on the South Bank, I feel. They just switch the microphones on and they're a little bit older than, than these other people as well who do podcasts, a little bit uh, longer in the tooth and a bit more wizened and they're a bit more appreciative, I think, of what's going on at the Wolves at the moment and how well we've got it in comparison to some of the stories that they tell of the 80s. Uh, so that's that's interesting for me to, to listen to that, uh, that sort of storytelling, which is... This is great. And the final one is the ENS uh, Wolves podcast with uh, Nathan Judah and Tim Spears. Um, I think that as a as a newspaper, I think they must find it difficult. Well, Tim Spears, I think, might find it difficult to be as brutally honest, perhaps, as he wants to be uh, as a Wolves fan. Nathan Judah, obviously, not a Wolves fan, but has developed uh, an affection for Wolves over the last few years since he's been covering them. Um, and I do find it quite entertaining. Their Abuse of the Week feature is quite entertaining to hear them read out things that people are saying to them and about them. And sometimes it's very, very funny what, uh, listening to them read out abuse to themselves. But yeah, and this Thursday they are hosting a live event at the Molyneux, uh, recording their 100th podcast, which I'll be going to and hopefully bring you a few little clips from that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Drop a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. And... Let me know if there's any other Wolves podcasts that perhaps 
we are missing or do you think that there's there is a gap in the market for another type of wolves podcast i think that we've got a quite a good spread of that at the moment um but is there anything else missing let me know in the comment section down below bye bye